Welcome back to Hurley's Hobbies. Today we're going to continue on the Balsa USA quarter scale cub. Working on the pole pole, the motor, and inside uh, where I'm going to mount all my receiver, my power expander, my batteries, and my uh, servos inside. Um, you may have noticed that I got my Corsair wing in here. My Meister Corsair, and the Meister Corsair has been over there. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. But I got that back in here to get it ready for covering. But I'm going to cover this plane first with silk. So hopefully I start that this week. But I got a few more things to do with the plane. I got to go over final sand it and get it ready for covering. Let's get a building. All right, I'm working on my pole pole. I got it some uh, fishing line on both sides. I got it marked about where it's going to come through. And I measured how high I need it. How high it is. So I got this end figured out exactly where I want the pole pole through. So I'm going to fill this section with wood. A piece of wood in here on both sides. I probably use 8th inch or 16th inch balsa sheeting and fill in fill in between here. So then I have somewhere for the pole pole to come through. Alright, this is the other end. Here's for the pole pole servo. It's not mounted. It's just sitting in here. I got it pretty close to where I want it. This one's the throttle servo. I'm going to run a... Probably a Savino back for the throttle. I figured out where I'm going to put my antennas for my receiver. One go this way. The other one to come up over on this other side and, and go sideways. My power expander. My receiver. I got three batteries laid all across the bottom. I'm not sure if this is exactly where they're going to go. But I got three batteries down there. Alright, I'm going to install my... Servo tray, I got marks on the side where it goes. I also have my straight edge here, so I'm going to pull one out. I'm going to put some medium CA down here. Now I have some of the pieces I cut off the sides of them. I have one for each side. I'm going to glue these across here just to help give it some more support on top. You can see I did mark the center. Of the stick so I made sure when I put my rudder servo in here it's going to be centered. I have my tires. My Robarts gear came in. Got it laid out. Got my certificate. Got my template for drilling. I'm putting mounting my gear and then the instructions how to put it together. But I'm not going to put my gear together until after I paint it. So but here's the hardware pack. This is how it comes. It comes with the blind nuts, the installing screws, and all your other hardware. Alright, I folded my... I, all I did was fold it. I didn't cut it. My template it fits perfect over it. But, because my strut's way back here... But if I take one of the gear, I just stuck them together. I didn't actually put them together. I just put the pins in them. And you set them on here. Put them on the holes. I don't know if you can see that, but the holes are almost on the outside. The back ones are lined right over it. But the holes are off. So I'm glad I didn't go just by the template without checking it first because that's not right. 
According to the instructions, the holes are supposed to be four and five eighths apart. Well, that's not four and five eighths. That's four and seven sixteenths. All right, I have one of my struts here. I stuck it here. So I drew a line across, drew a line across, and then marked where the strut was. So I actually set the strut on there and marked the holes. And I wanted to put that on there because I wanted to make sure I was far enough away from it, which I am. So that's going to work. <clears throat> so now I can drill my holes. And the other part is, is this reinforcer here is going to be in the way of this blind nut. So I'm probably going to have to go inside and drum mow it out a little bit after I drill it to get so I can get that blind nut in there. The same as up here, this inside blind nut is going to be this bottom reinforcing rib is going to be in there. Yep, and make sure you drill through the right holes up here that you made, not through those ones. All right, here we go. I actually put this one on this side because I already took the other one apart, but they're on there. And the blind nuts are in. I had thought about just drilling and tapping this outside out, but there's only a little bit of wood there. Of the plywood, so that's why I end up putting the blind nuts in. And the other thing is, is my Robart's gear came with three fillet head screws, and all the rest of the screws in the bag are regular head screws. I don't know what that's about, but three Phillips, and all the rest are regular head screws, which they're not. Stainless, but all looks like a lot of the, all the other screws that come with the kit are stainless So I'm probably gonna switch these out anyways with stainless and I'll probably buy Allen head Screws I like those better. So All right, I got my strut supports built They go in there um, I made both of them exactly the same I took it up, <clears throat> took it up there, set it there, marked it where it hit, cut it, and then went back and double checked and shortened it slowly. And then I made the other one the same size and it looked just as good. Sanded really well and soldered them on. Um, I got the wings back on so I could do that. I got a little bit more sanding to do. And then uh, I got one more thing to show you on the tail, and we'll get to that. All right, back around the tail, I filled this in so my pole pole can come through, and I have something for the covering to go against. So I got that built. This is the uh, same. Actually, it's leftover piece from the aileron. The aileron cut out. This is the piece that's left over from that. It fits in there. Every time you cut it, it fits in there nice. I got that done. I have most of the plane sanded. I need a little bit more to go, double check everything, and then uh, we can get on the covering. All right, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys like what you're seeing, please subscribe, like, and comment. And we'll see you on the next one. Keep it building.